Hi guys, this is Capulite Base. I am back to my channel. It's been a while that I've not been in YouTube again, but I'm giving you an update. So it's been six months that I did not upload a new video on YouTube. So actually I have a lot of stories to tell. Way back 2021, I was very, very sick. I was like dying that time and don't upload a lot of videos since last year 2021 I made a video six months ago too I was healing I went back to my hometown I was like healing myself first things first I'm not in my hometown now I am here in Manila City so as you can see in my title my Saint Luke's medical exam what are the documents that they are going to bring first you're gonna have to do is to set an appointment on St. Luke's online and then you can pay it to uh, your bank RCBC and you can pay it to when you get to St. Luke's and I think it's better for you for me I'm go going to advise you it is really better to pay it in the bank things that you need to gather for sure is your appointment you have to bring your appointment information if you, and if you pay you have to bring your receipt and also you're gonna have our to cr test it should be accredited by doh so and then you're gonna have to bring your two copy of photo uh two photocopy of your passport and and your passport itself and the confirmation appointment confirmation your visa because they're gonna ask you like once your interview so you can have to answer and if you don't have any proof then they're not going to uh, let you have the examination that day so yeah so the first thing is so when i get into the same looks the first step i when i uh, was in line when it was my turn I gave my documents and, and they checked my documents and, and put a number in there. Man said like, okay, you can proceed now to the ground floor. Wait until your until your number will be called. So I waited in there. So when you get in there on the ground floor, it's very uh, organized. He asked me like, how old am I? Where where my fiance live? She asked me a couple of questions and then after that. She gave me another number and I proceed to forget again what floor it was. So, but I remember they took my height, I, I check up too, and they took my weight. I don't know, but they got my x ray. I forgot now which one's first. Then the last thing was my physical exam. So, when you get to the physical exam, doctor, the doctor will gonna ask you some questions. She asked me tons of questions because I have a lot of histories, hospitalization history, surgery history, like it's just minor surgery and she asked me about it, what was the reason and what kind of surgery and which part that I had a surgery. She told me like, okay, you can wear another gown, I'm going to check your body and then yeah, I wore the gown so don't you worry guys you have a gown she checked my throat I think she checked if I have some lips there's a paper that you need to fill out so I fill out the paper there's like questions I'm just gonna have to say yes or no only check it put a check it. if you had an experience some questions like about medical of course uh, if you have some history, if, if you have a chicken pox, of course you're gonna have to put it there. I said yes because I had it already in grade school. So, and then she said, okay, you're good now. She said like, okay, uh, you bring this paper, you can go home now. She told me like, so, okay, so you come back here around 10 a.m., give it to the guard, and then the guard will gonna tell you where you're gonna have to proceed next. So here it goes. That was like so funny. I don't know which floor is like sputum area. So I was like in there. I was like sitting for second floor. So and then I was like chatting with my friend and I asked my other friend like, hey, I was like wondering why I'm here in this uh, immunization area. Does it mean that I passed? So I said, yes, you passed. 
Congratulations! So I was like very very happy when she said that like oh I'm not it's like I don't have a sputum test so I was like <laughs> very 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 happy or after my immunization waiting for my, my number again to be called so uh, she gave me some instructions like please don't open this envelope she gave me three pieces of paper too one is for my vaccination instruction before going to USA and two is for my uh, vaccination the shots that they gave me so she told me like you're gonna have to keep it because maybe in time you're gonna have to use it in USA I photocopy it just in case I still have like a copy because that's suggested me to do after that he said like okay mom you can go home now that's it for all guys so that's awesome bye